The worst case scenario for an American company and the stuff of spy thrillers. A Chinese national accused of stealing America's latest crown jewel in tech, artificial intelligence. But it's not fiction and it just happened to Google. We've unsealed an indictment against a Chinese national. Lin Wei Ding was one of many Chinese nationals and other immigrants who play an important role working on cutting edge technology at the tech giant. There's a shortage of AI engineers, and so companies uh, hire uh, Chinese nationals. Prosecutors say Ding secretly uploaded more than 500 Google files containing AI secrets, ironically, to his personal cloud account. According to experts like Cornell computer science professor Bart Selman, the AI technology took more than a decade to develop. 10 to 15 years of development by Google out yeah. the door in a matter of couple of mouse clicks. So that's one of the big problems with, with software. And one thing that's striking that what the employee allegedly has done was not particularly sophisticated. In 2022 and 2023, prosecutors say he spent four months in China working with two PRC-based firms and raising money to create his own artificial intelligence company, while another Google employee used his badge to make it seem as if he was clocking into work in California. That seems like a pretty major failure. No, no question there was a ball dropped here. In fact, perhaps several balls have, have been dropped. The day before prosecutors say Ding was to board a one-way flight from San Francisco back to China on January 7th, the FBI searched his home, seizing his electronic devices. Ding and his lawyer declined to comment. In a statement, Google said it has strict safeguards to prevent the theft of our confidential commercial information and trade secrets and thank the FBI for its help. Even if you see ostensibly private actor stealing IP and taking it back to China and forming a Chinese company, it's part of a national strategy. There is indeed an actual strategy, a five-year plan that China actually publishes of putting its citizens on alert that we need the following items this year and through the next five years, and we'll do everything we can to get our hands on it. In fact, just two weeks after Ding's arrest, the Justice Department charged two other men with stealing Tesla trade secrets in order to set up their own electric vehicle company in China. For years, the People's Republic of China, most specifically the Ministry of State Security, has operated human and cyber intelligence operatives in the Bay Area. The Chinese government vehemently denies carrying out any theft of intellectual property. But FBI Director Christopher Wray calls it the defining threat of our generation. Today, and literally every day, they're actively attacking our economic security, engaging in wholesale theft of our innovation and our personal and corporate data. While Lin Wei Ding allegedly lifted the AI technology, and it could be in the hands of his associates in China, he won't be cashing in. Instead, he's charged with four counts of theft of trade secrets. He pled not guilty, but could face up to 10 years in prison. Ken Delanian is joining us now. All right, Ken, a couple questions here. Where is the stuff now? Did, did Google get it back? We don't know. It, a person familiar with the case told us that is not clear. That is one hmm. of the big questions that the FBI is going to try to answer here. And the leverage they have is that he's been charged criminally. He obviously was in China trying to raise money uh, to form an AI company, and he had the secrets with him. So you know, one theory is that he did transmit them, but we just don't know. Google problem? Like, is this just a Google thing, or is this bigger and broader in the tech industry? Do oh, we know? Oh, God. Hallie, this is a huge national problem. Wow. Silicon Valley is getting its pocket picked by China on a regular basis. Last year, a Chinese national was charged with stealing self-driving car secrets from Apple. You heard in the piece about another Chinese national charged with stealing battery secrets from Tesla. Microsoft was just criticized by a government board for allowing the Chinese to hack into its systems and having shoddy security. And, and that's just the tech sector. All sectors of American business, th there's a saying that Amer among American companies, who, they've either been checked hacked by China, or they don't know they've been hacked by China. Ken Delanian, what a fascinating look at this whole issue. And as you say, lots of threads to pull on down the road. Really appreciate you bringing this story to us. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.